Hey guys, my name is Scott Mosier. I'm an assistant coach at RPI. Today I'm going to talk about my favorite drill, USA 2v2. Uh, focuses on defending, skating forwards, angling with great sticks, and then closing gaps defensively. We use this with our college team, but it also can be used at youth camps, any age level. It's very simple uh, and can be done on the fly very quickly. So how it works, we have two defending players and then two lines right here. We can do this at both ends of the ice. I know we often do here. Uh, the jersey combinations just need to make sense in terms of going opposite. So X, O, X, O in terms of colors. So how it works, an X will start with the puck. They must go through the center circle with their partner. This puck can be exchanged. It can be held on, whatever they choose. The two defending players are communicating, picking a man and trying to defend them skating forwards. Right? They do not disrupt in the circle, but they can disrupt anywhere else in the neutral zone. The idea and the goal is hopefully a puck carrier is taking a wide angle here, forced with a great stick middle, off their back shoulder, and then closing gap into a really tough area for that offensive player on either side of the ice, whoever decides to take that puck. If the offense is able to make a creative play, uh, maybe cut inside or drive wide, this turns into a full two-on-two -two down in this part of the zone. What I love about this drill is if you don't close defensively during the two-on-two, -two, it can turn into a bit of a long shift. So it really reinforces defensively how important it is to go through hands, actually end a play, and then strip a puck. Once the O's do strip a puck, they must make a direct pass out to the next guy in either line, which will then be their color. Right? The X's now must work really hard back up into the neutral zone while they communicate with each other on, hey, who do we got, who do we got, who are we angling as that next group comes through the center circle. So play that out again two on two. Hopefully they get those forwards into a tough spot and can go stick on puck and through their hands and end it early. But either way, we continue playing this out two on two. Same things going on at both ends. Really reinforces just getting back up in the play defensively, communicating with your partner and making sure we have a great stick and great angle so that we're defending, skating forwards and pushing those offensive players into a tough part of the ice that they don't want to be in.